Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode on FIFA 21. If you missed yesterday's episode, it ended terribly, similar to the one before that. In the Europa League, we are struggling so much. We've lost both our group games so far, and the last one was, was bad. We've got some uh, injury news as well. And uh, it's five days. We, we lost Saliba in that game. Thankfully, it's only five days. Uh, also, we have an email from Meza Ozil saying, I'm really sorry to be having the conversation, but my contract's nearly up and I've got to think about what's best for my future. Seems like nothing's happening here. So I'm wondering if I should start looking for another club. Um, yes, I think you should, Meza. I'm afraid this will be your final season. I'm sure he will sign... For a new club in January, we'll find out where he's going to go. But um, yeah, it, his time is up. Look at the league table, by the way. We've, we've been doing well in the league, at least. We've got top scorer Aubameyang level with uh, Immobile and Haller there, or Haller. I don't know how you say his name. It's a really weird, really weird one. But Spurs continue to be at the top. There are three points above Liverpool. Look at Southampton as well. Absolutely killing it. But uh, up next, we've got Man City. It's going to be a tough one, this. With no Saliba, of course, we will have to change things up a little bit. I think David Luiz can come in and do a good job. We've got Willian, Aubameyang and Pepe. Um, do I go with Willian or should I go with someone like Saka? Uh, no, I think I'm going to go with this exact team. Looking at the Man City team, damn, it is strong. Loud, proud, loyal. This is our city. I would argue, although you've been very good over the last five, six, seven years, it's still Manchester is red, I'm afraid, I, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, Manchester United are probably still the biggest club in England, so don't know about that one. But um, yeah, I shouldn't really talk smack about the team I'm about to come up against who arguably have one of the best squads in the game. So maybe I shouldn't be saying anything. <laughs> I should just get on with the game. Hopefully we can get ourselves at least a point but obviously I would love to come away with three it's just it's going to be a tough one especially after that last result we had I've got to say my confidence has been battered a little bit defensively I find it very difficult to defend in this game it feels like the attackers are just way more smart than they ever have been which is a good thing by the way hook that one out well done Gabriel now look at the space we've got down this right side here's Bellerin nice play into Pepe, into Partey, over to Alwa. No! I was just about to pass that back to Aubameyang and you know he was scoring from that position and now I'm in trouble. David Luiz is so slow. Oh my God, the rebound. Oh, really? Really, Matt? We're going to do this, are we? 1-0 down. Tierney should have cleared it. I just thought he would. It's not even a, a tough shot. I don't know why Leno's parrying that. Okay, we've got to score now just to get the point, that is. We can do it. Come on, Matt, believe. Oh, my God. No. What is going on? What is going on? Wow. So, um, David Luiz. I think he's finished. How am I meant to defend against players like that when I've got David Luiz? And, and to be fair, Gabriel isn't quick either. I've got two very slow defenders. It is so difficult. We're on the break now, though. Put that over the top for Aubameyang. William was making a run. He's completely stopped. Give that to Ceballos. Oh, look at our. No. Couldn't get the pass through. And now, you know what time it is. Look at, look at David Luiz try and chase this. Look. Look at that. Oh, my God, Sterling. Stop it. Stop making me look like a complete fool. Maybe a change of system at the break. Should I go back to the three at the back formation? I don't know. They're going to score again here. Oh, my God. I can't defend against this. Not with Gabriel and David Luiz. It's not working. I know this game's over, but at least I can maybe try 
and limit any more goals coming in and maybe I can get a consolation goal. So I think, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh my God. I'm struggling. Okay, let's let's go to my three at the back formation. It's basically, if anyone's wondering, it's basically a 3-4-2-1, but I drag these guys back like that, basically. Ceballos is the player coming out and holding comes in. Let's see if three at the back, or basically five at the back, is going to be any different. And maybe we can get forward and, and score some goals. Uh, it could happen. It might be that this formation just suits playing against teams like this. See if we can do something here. Nope, never mind. That pass was for our game. Why? <laughs> it's just bouncing around straight back to them. Oh my God. I've got to do something. I've got to do something now. That is not what I should be doing. Just giving it to... Oh, hang on. Bellerin. To Pepe. Go on. Go on. Oh my God, I hit my own player. Yeah, this game's done. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting anything out of this. As if there was hope, Matt. Shut up. Oh, it's lovely. Sack us through. The two substitutions working together there. Genduzi and Saka. Go on. Finish it. <laughs> oh, my God. You can see the levels. The difference between City and myself. I've been absolutely owned. Just owned today. It has been awful. You thought the last game against Hertz of Berlin was bad in the last episode. Just re-watch this if you fancy a laugh. You know, if you ever want to watch a comedy at some point, just open up this video, watch the first game, and just have a good old laugh because that's what this is. This is a laugh. It's laughable. <laughs> Here's Tierney. Maybe a consolation. Go on. No, that was a terrible idea to cross it. Why would I do that? I don't know. I can't explain my own decisions. Just get me out of this game. Why are you blowing the whistle there? I could have had the comeback. <laughs> right. Well, Aguero single-handedly destroyed me. Four shots, three goals. Very, very well done to him. That was absolutely woeful we have to improve in the next game i don't know who we've got next but surely it can't get any worse than this there goes our unbeaten run in the premier league we're down in fifth place now that's always nice to see man city jumping us in the table there okay well it's our first loss in the league you know you gotta you gotta see the positives <laughs> the silver linings um one of the other positives is the three circles are looking good for us fitness is good morale is pretty damn good considering the last two games sharpness is quickly going up as well we can simulate this training drill um i'm quite happy letting it randomly assign the training i think it works quite well to be fair of course if you want to be more specific you can we've got an, an offer for meza Urzil. um i'm not i'm not doing it because i want to let him go for free i think that's what's going to happen in real life 20 million for Urzil. you just you just wouldn't get that um, by the way, top tip, you can just press in the right stick to simulate training if you've already done all of the drills once. Of course, then you don't need to do them again, so you can just quickly go through these like this. Um, sharpness is still going up. Of course, these circles take into account the entire squad, not just your first team. We've got another offer for Urzel here. I won't be able to block offers because he wants to leave, so we're just going to have to keep rejecting. But it's funny how we're getting his value, even though he's 31 years old. I would expect less than his value to be offered. Next game is against Burnley at home. So we've got to win this one. And look at this, Aubameyang back down to 86. In the last episode, he was 86. Then he went up to 87, back down to 86 again. It is, it is funny how that happens. But I don't think I need to make any changes to the squad. Um, Saliba is back, which is really good news. I really, really have missed him. Um, I don't know if I should be maybe bringing in a Saka or a Martinelli just for that explosive pace going forward. But to be honest, I think I think William has been doing a relatively good job for me. He might not be getting the goals, but he is definitely helping us going forward. So I'm going to stick with him. But um, Gabriel's now 80 rated. That is good to see. He is improving his pace pretty quickly because we are, of course, using a new development plan to improve his pace. Bellerin's up to 81. He has been superb for us. Sabios is up to 81. Alwar's up to 82. Tierney's up to 79. So it's not all bad. Yes, we've had some bad games, but if we go on another nice winning run now, 
we'll be back to where we were. Basically, the only player I would say right now that I just cannot drop, 100% cannot drop, maybe two, is Pepe and Aubameyang. They have been superb for us so far. Pepe's got three goals in his last three games, so hopefully that trend will continue today at the Emirates. Nice from Pepe into Aubameyang. Near post. Oh! Beautiful. What a strike from the captain. Pepe's involved as well. That is the start we needed, guys. Why couldn't I do that against City? You know, why couldn't I do that against Hertha Berlin? So simple. Just wait for that late dive to the left or to the right. The defender scrambles. He falls on the floor. We lay it off to Aubameyang and the rest is history. What a strike that is. You're just not going to save that. Oh, wow. What a goal. Once again, we've conceded a very, very silly goal. We've just allowed the cross to get in. And it's an easy finish. Fair play. The ball over the top. Tried to chase it down with Saliba. Cross comes in. Defenders the wrong side. 1-0. Just like that. Got to improve there. I've got to improve defensively. I'm already thinking, what the hell do I do when it comes to signing a centre-back at some point. I, I need to bring in someone when David Luiz is gone. You know, I've got to. This is where you want Aubameyang. Getting on that right foot. Nice. Into Pepe. Across the keeper. Oh, it's just been deflected. Maybe Pepe wasn't the right choice there. Maybe I should have had a shot. I don't know. Cross comes in. Aubameyang's unmarked and it's 2-1. What were Burnley thinking? You thought my defence was bad. Look at that. That was shocking. And it's two goals for the number 14. And that should be enough to take us in at the break. Winning this game. That's what we need. Just terrible defending. Look at that. Who's the number 28? He needs to be sacked immediately and never play football again. Well, that's a goal. Yep. Straight away I saw. As soon as that cross came in, I knew I wasn't going to be able to defend that. How has Partey allowed him to get through like that? I don't know. Partey is one of the strongest players and he's just allowed, I don't even know who it was, was it Brady, I think, to go through like that? And by the way, I didn't mean to skip that. I was going to watch it again. Okay, back to square one again. We need another goal. We are going to make a change now. We're going to bring in, um, who did I bring in? Saka and Willock. That was it. Willock is going to come on for Sabias, who hasn't had a very good game, to be fair. Um, we do have Aubameyang on a hat-trick. What are the odds of him scoring the winning goal? Probably quite high at this point. Let's give that to Bellerin if we can. Inside to Willock. Into Aubameyang. Oh, oh. Is that not a foul? No, he got the ball first, I guess. I was trying to do a little one-two with Willock there. It did not quite work out. Oh, he's kept that in. Fair play, McNeil. He's got Saliba to deal with now. He can't get through, so he just turns around. We're almost out of time here. Loads of space for Tierney. First time cross. Ah, oh, it was a good cross. It was just too near the keeper in the end. Five minutes left, guys. I am not... Oh, my God. What? What? How did that happen? Just completely unmarked. Okay, we've got it back. Not feeling confident about these final three minutes here. And a draw just is not enough. Come on. Saka can just push through the middle here. Just make a run of Amiang. Why are you standing there? Come on. Get forward. I'm just going to try and get through here. No, I can't. I can't. Give it to Aubameyang now. It's okay. We still got it. No. Oh, the run. Aubameyang. Oh. <sighs> Relax. I don't know how I've lost this game. I don't know how. It's bad. It's really bad. Aubameyang, did you want that hat trick? Did you actually want to take the ball home? just stood there. I just can't believe it. Burnley had two shots, two goals. That was it. We had so many chances. Oh God. And now it's the Europa League. Oh God. I've been so bad in the Europa League. I'm, I'm going to have to go all out. I think it's, it's Malmo. We should be getting a win here. We're off to Sweden. Cedric wants to play. He will play. I'm going to go with a three at the back. I think it might work out here. It's a bit more, um, bit more tricky maybe when defending against top, top teams. But going forward, you just have a lot more space, potentially. I, I don't know. At this point, I don't know which formation is better. And that is one of the problems I'm facing. One thing I do know 
is Nketiah is not starting this game and neither is Nelson. We are going to have Lacazette come in. I'm going to be bringing in Meza Ozil at some point. Look at his rating though. He's actually got a minus five. So he is 76 rated for this game. How crazy is that? But um, yeah, Lacazette comes in. Saka on the right, Martinelli on the left. You can see the team. Hopefully... This time, we won't lose. Okay, so apparently it's snowing in Sweden. At least we've got the orange lines. That's a massive improvement. But why don't we have an orange ball? That doesn't make sense at all. Oh, great touch from Lacazette. Into the box. Skenduzi was there. Couldn't get on it. Here is Saka. And it's blocked. Oh, here we go again. That's a pen. No? How's that not a pen? Game, come on. I swear this competition hates me. The Europa League is doing everything possible to kick me out. They're even telling the refs not to give me a penalty when it's a blatant penalty. He took me out, man. Give that to Willock. Oh, is he going to get there? He is. That's a foul. Referee, what is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Go and get your eyes checked, son. There is something wrong with you. Is he on side? He is. He's on side. Come on, Cedric. Finish it. Yes! We've got the opening goal here. I'm finding this very tricky. I don't like the snow in this game. I didn't even know it was snowing, so it's my bad. It's making it just a little bit more difficult, but do you know what? We've got a team that's good enough to win this game, and we finally have the lead. And it's Cedric. Out of all the players, it's a lovely run forward. Look at this for a finish as well. Bang! Into the top corner. Love it. We are in the second half here, guys. I've decided to give my eyes a little bit of a rest. It's a nightmare playing in the snow. At least for me, I can't stand it. So we'll just go ahead and use the match sim here. And hopefully my boys can uh, take our, take over from, from what I was doing and, and get a win still. Let's see. Here's Willock. Oh, it's a bad pass by the looks of it. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll still manage to score maybe one or two more goals in this game. And just hopefully we'll keep that clean sheet. Surprisingly, though, they've had a lot more of the ball than we have. Oh. Okay. Looks like we're jumping in then. We've just conceded. It is one all for a second there. It didn't It didn't um, update the scoreboard. We've got 20 minutes now, and I need to score. If I lose this game, I'm, I'm genuinely going to potentially lose my job. How crazy is this? This should not be happening. Got to score. I haven't got long left. Here's Maitland-Niles, though. I see Martinelli. Please. Oh, thank God for that. <sighs> I should not be in this position, guys. This is ridiculous. How am I relying on a last... Well, last five minutes goal to potentially save my job in season one? <laughs> Luckily, Ainsley Maitland-Niles has picked out a fantastic cross... And it's Martinelli. He almost hit that straight at the keeper. Wow. Okay, right. Now we just hold on. I'm not going to sim because clearly this team is incapable of defending with or without my control. And just hopefully get through to the end of this game. Man, way too stressful. Blow the whistle, ref. End it here. Yes! I'm celebrating a Europa League 2-1 win against Malmo. Get in there. We needed that. And now we've got Leicester up next. And I'm a little bit unsure how fit my team's going to be. I used my best defenders, for example. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to change up the schedule. Get my players rested for that game against Leicester. But guys, it is a good result finally in the Europa League. And one that could literally save my job. So we've got a recovery day and a rest day already. So... It's as good as it can be in terms of getting rest. But um, Gabriel and Saliba should be okay. Let's have a look. And they're fine. Okay, didn't need to worry about it too much. We have an email coming in here. And it's Cedric. There you go. He was actually fantastic. He got the opening goal. Great performance. Well done, Cedric. And let's get into the Leicester game right away. No Jamie Vardy, which is always a good thing when you come up against Leicester. Still a strong team. They've got Mata up top. Now, that is not Juan Mata. Don't worry. It is a different Mata. And it doesn't matter. Who cares? My God, that's such an awful joke. But you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. All I can say is right now, I'm just happy I'm not playing in the snow. That was awful. 
Hopefully we'll pick up another win in the Premier League here. That's a lovely ball into Aubameyang. We need people in the box. Oh, Alwa was coming in, but it was well defended by Suyunchu. Great defender he is. Jeez, Pepe. Oh my God, what a pass. What a pass to Willian. I'm going to have to cross though. Ricardo Pereira did very well to get back, but that pass, oh my God. So good from Pepe. Now, can we score another headed corner? It is Aubameyang there, and he's almost done it. Corners are so, so much better in FIFA 21. You can genuinely cross it in and score, which wasn't the case in the last game, that's for sure. Bellerin has been caught out of position here. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, my God. Why was Bellerin so far up the pitch, and why was Tillemans completely unmarked in the box? Look at this. He just runs in. I mean, Tierney's got three players to mark there. Saliba completely out of position. That, that's just the game. I, I don't understand why Saliba's not in the box there. Okay, we're 1-0 down after 17 minutes, but we have made a good start attacking-wise. So I'm, I'm feeling confident we'll score goals. But what am I meant to do in that situation if my defenders just don't defend, you know? Oh, Pepe. He's too good. Oh, oh he's just too good. Finish it. Oh, my God. Those of you who say, Matt, why do you need five-star skills? Why are you upgrading his skill moves? It doesn't actually matter to me because I use mainly four-star skill moves, but I swear it just makes them quicker, having five-star skills. Look how quick that turn is. Oh, my God. Unstoppable Pepe. He is the star of the show once again. He was incredible last year in FIFA 20, and I feel like he's well on his way to becoming... Probably the best player in this squad. Again, he is so, so good. And so much fun to use as well. Good tackle, Ceballos. Oh, go on, Alwa. Oh, my God. I thought that was it. They will go in. One of those is bound to go in at some point soon. It was so close from Alwa. It should be 2-1. We are playing glorious football in this game. I know we've conceded that one goal. But if we can carry on playing like this, we will win by a few goals. We're on the break here. Williams in. It's a bit of a heavy pass, but he's going to be okay. He's going to get there. Aubameyang back post. And of course he scores as if he was going to miss that. It is so easy to score goals like that. It's almost a little bit cheesy. That cross is broken. It's RB and X. RB and X. It's so good. Back post. I think it might be one of the strongest ways of scoring. But Aubameyang makes it 2-1. He is going to be our top scorer this season. There's no doubt about it, with Pepe probably close behind. If I've got them in form, it's going to be very difficult for teams to keep a clean sheet, that's for sure. Aubameyang is now playing on the left side. We've brought on Lacazette. We've also got Willock coming on again. Here is Ceballos. He just gets that. Oh, and then Evans steps in. Very, very close. I feel like a third goal is coming, but here is Barnes. Got to defend against him here. Come on, Saliba. Get chasing. Of course, he cuts back. That's what the AI do. Oh, no. Tillemans into Mata. What a block by Gabriel. Still danger here, though. Careful. Yes, Gabriel. Oh, no. He's going to keep that in. No, 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 no. Get it out. Oh, my God. I can't clear it. I actually can't clear it. It's, it's going to be forever in my box until the end of the game. There we go. Right. We can get that up the right side for Pepe. This should be interesting. Give that to Lacazette. Okay, now what? Pass that inside for Ceballos into Aubameyang. Oh, my. What was that? Terrible from Ceballos there. Nice. Aubameyang. Far post. Why is it going with his left foot there? I don't understand it. I'm aiming far post. You would think, especially with a finesse shot, it would go on his right foot. Oh, we look. Ah, maybe a bad idea to shoot there. But guys, I think I think we can hold the ball now and just hold on for the win. There's no stress. We'll take a 2-1 against Leicester, that's for sure. Unless I can get one more chance here. Go on, we look. Oh, no. No, that's bad. Just keep them in their half. It's two minutes added on. Chase him down. I think, I think we're okay. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, Gabriel. Oh, no. No, 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 this is bad. Gabriel's out of position. Don't do this. Don't do this. No.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't know what to say to that. <sighs> Defensively, I am struggling. Badly. That was awful. Awful defending. I deserve to concede if I defend like that. <sighs> Let's have a look at the table then. Just before we do though, we've had an email from the board. They're not very happy that I'm not offering Meza Urzu a new wage, but that's just not going to happen, I'm afraid. We have had an offer come in from Much and Gladbach. They're offering Patrick Herman. <laughs> um, look, I think he's a decent player, but not really the kind of player I'm looking to sign. So that is going to be a reject. It would be interesting, though, to see if any other clubs come in and offer a player that maybe would tempt me, but probably not, to be fair. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the episode. Let's go ahead and check the table. We do have Bristol in the Carabao Cup. Bristol City up next. Let's go to the Premier League and see where we are. Oh, dear. We're in seventh place. How things change. So to be in the top four, I am five points off. But thankfully, one of those teams is Southampton. I would expect them to drop off. But, um, yeah, we're in seventh place. Five wins and four draws. Just not good enough. Not good enough at all. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. Make sure you leave a like, leave your supportive comments. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter and I will see you in the next episode very soon.